Shalom Aleichem, welcome to Machin Leira online smicha. With the summer season on and the traveling and people going from place to place, perhaps it's important to review a, a simple halacha which applies not only in the summer, applies every day of the year when you when you wake up and you go and you know we have to dedicate the time, the important time of the day for davening. Uh, it is important to review one of the few halachas uh, in Hilchas Tefillah. In Simon Pei Test, the Alter Rebbe says what you're allowed to do before davening, what you're not allowed to do before davening. And the Alter Rebbe says in Simon Pei Test, Siv Dalid, Asur la'adam lehisasek b'tzrach of kaidim tefillah siyitches b'shachar. In the morning, when you wake up, you're not allowed to get yourself busy with your personal needs before you daven Shemayin Asrei. K'day she'leyif n'alibo yilishum davar achi yispalo. A person should not get, get himself busy in any personal things unless um, he davens first. Davening should be the, the first thing that you do. And says the Alter Rebbe, however, there are those who are a little more easy with this. Some say, as long as I said, and you might be up to uh, up to Baruch Shamar, then you, you get a check, and now you could uh, do some personal things. But the Alter Rebbe clearly says, That's not correct. The right way to start your day is before you do anything personal, whatever it may be. Obviously, you have to understand what's considered personal, what's considered a mitzvah. We'll discuss some of it soon. But just to say, make a free-for-all, do whatever you want, that's That's not correct. Now, that right now you're thinking that means to, to, to work and do shlep. Fine, but the Alter Rebbe adds another part of the halacha that I don't think people realize. V'chein asur lotzeis lederech baboiker. You're not allowed to go to travel. You're not allowed to travel early morning. Ad she yispalo yutches until you daven shemayin esrei. Elein kain. The only exception when you're allowed to travel without daven, davening first is yoytze b'shayyara. If he's traveling with a group, with a caravan, and they're not waiting for him, then that's the excuse to be able to go uh, to travel first. But if you don't have that excuse, you're not allowed to even travel without davening. So all these people who want to go from point A to point B to get, for whatever reason, they have to know to wake up early morning or to wake up in the morning and, and travel and then daven is not necessarily the right thing to do. Now, if the person, if the person is going somewhere uh, where there is no minion, where he can't daven anyways, he has no minion, or he's going to come late, for sure that's wrong. The Chiddush is that even if where he's traveling to take two, three hours, and there will be a minion later on, so he could still catch a minion or he could daven before his that doesn't that doesn't uh, take away the issue. The issue here is, before you do any traveling, davening comes first. Minion or no minion later on. Zmantvila or no Zmantvila. You have to wake up in the morning and daven the first thing of the day. Now there's an interesting diuk. The Alter Rebbe says, You're not allowed to leave in the morning until you daven Shemayin Esrei. Why am I stressing the boiker? Because the Mishnah Brura actually brings that the same halacha is not only baboiker, not only for shachris. The Mishnah Brura brings vafilu koyde mincho mayriv, even before mincho mayriv time. If the time of mincha has uh, has arrived, you before you go anywhere, you have to daven mincha, because you're not allowed to travel before mincha. The same if the time of mayriv has is it's the time of mayriv. You're not allowed to, it's, it's considered a personal thing before you take care of the Abishter, before you just say hi, thanks to Abishter for what he did for you. And that's how a Yiddish approach should be during the day. Now, what are the ex exemptions of when you are, when you are allowed to maybe travel before davening? So the Achreinim say that these are some of the exemptions. Just like we find that you're allowed to do Heftse Shamayim, Mitzvahs you're allowed to do before davening because you're not allowed to do personal things. 
But a mitzvah, a mitzvah is allowed to do before davening. So if you're going for a purpose of a mitzvah, then you uh, then then that that will give you freedom to do that even even before you daven. Some achrayim say that if there is going to be a tremendous loss, a financial loss, you have to get somewhere, and there you can't make it to daven earlier, and uh, you have to get somewhere for parnasa, just like we find in chalamoid that the uh, hefsed maruba. Items that will be a tremendous financial loss breaks the rule of not working a chalamay. The same would be here. That's some of the achreinim say. I want to stress one more halacha. The Alter Rebbe and Simon Tzadik, the Alter Rebbe says like this: Simon Tzadik siiv yud la'olam yishtadol adam lespalo bebeisek nesses and matzibur. A person should try very hard. And, uh, and some of the Achreinim have a big question. Why does it say Yishtadel? Yishtadel makes it sound like it's, an, it's, uh, it's uh, okay, if you could try, put some effort. It's, some say it's much more than that. It's a big chiyuv. You should always try to daven in a shul with a, with a tzibur, with a minion. Because when you daven with a minion, hein kale kaber lo yimas. The Abishta does not push away any davening that, that's done by, by, by group. Individually, they look into you. you do you deserve, deserve it? Do you not? But when you come and glide it in with, uh, with the community, every filler that you do with a tzibur gets accepted. The al Rebbe, in the end of Simon Tzadik Sif Yud, says there's a benefit davening in the shul even when there is no minion. Because since it's a place where there are minyanim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Matzai Bebei Hashem is found in the shul even when there is no minion. Shenamar, because the Pasik says, Elikim Nitzavadas Kale, God is present in the group where there is uh, Ada, and the Al Terebbe compl- con- continues, it doesn't mean where the e- Ada is present. It means in the place where Ada gathers over there, Hashem is always present. Hashem will listen to the Tfila. I'd like to conclude a fascinating story the Mishnah Brura brings. And Simon Tzadik, Siv Katan Chavtes, he brings about davening with a minion, he says like this, V'chein kasa b'shem Yaakov, v'heid al goin, that somebody testified about a certain goin, Shapam achas, once, he went to shul, already wearing talisit fillin, and somebody stopped him, and somebody wanted to sell him uh, jewels. And he, he wanted to go, go with him to buy, make a big sale in jewels. And the guy answered, he says, wait, let me finish davening. And uh, after the sale, after davening, I'll deal with it. He, I don't want to, right now I'm davening with a minion. I'll, do, I'll deal with it after davening. And, and the story was that the, the sale was done without them. And the other person, managed to make a lot, a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars. So the, the going who decided to dive into a minion instead of making, instead of making the transaction, lost a lot, a lot of money. This going was extremely happy that he had the guts to throw away a, a large sum of money at least he should be able to dive with a minion. So these are points that a person should t- stay focused before you go on a trip or, or, or just a general standard day. Davening is the first thing that comes to your mind.